Allen to hit these leg kicks. That's what I want to see. I want to see him go in there and start chopping that leg. Well. It is time. One thing that we're knowing for sure. Representing the Julia blue Clinton corner. showed up in shape. Coming in at 5'8", 135 pounds out of authentic boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny the Golden Boy McLaughlin. And fighting out of the red corner at five feet, nine inches, 134 pounds. Coming out of glory, MMA in his debut fight. Ladies and gentlemen, Julian Sansano. I want to remind you all that this is brought to you by the Hilton Garden in Kansas City, Kansas. Sophistication without the complications. A better and brighter stay awaits at the newly renovated hotel located in the historic downtown Kansas City, Kansas. In just minutes from downtown Kansas City, Missouri, which is where we are at the High V Center in KCMO. Quick start so far. Uh, obviously leading with those leg kicks. Good reason for that. What's going on there, Adam? Well, like we said, these smaller weights, these guys never stop moving. You take out the wheels, you take out that mobility. Well, already we're seeing shades of another fight we Whoa. saw with thigh shots, but that is one takedown for the night. Pretty good clean there, but. Well, he's got uh, Khabib-esque. I'm not going to say he's like Khabib because nobody is. <laughs> but he was going for that that uh, where you you lace the legs underneath both their legs to get their hips off the ground. But Johnny right here is kind of just going for an awkward position. Yeah, now he's on top. But yeah, Julian's in that 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 heavy, heavy, heavy half guard. Now that's an amateur mistake right there. Not just listening to your coach, but don't looking look, right oh, at him while you're trying to maneuver. That's something I don't like. Keep your ears open, eyes on the prize. As he's going to pass this guard right here, he's just trying to try to sneak that leg through, sneak up on the back. Johnny gets up. All right, here we go. And Johnny's defending that takedown, defending that takedown. Get you, that butt lock, he's going to go for a ride. To you, who's in control right here? Oh, right here, Julian's in control for sure. Yeah, and he's going to take a nice little shot there in the midsection, though, but doesn't really seem to phase him too much anyway. Suck it. He's going to try to suck that leg out. He's trying to get that outside sweep there. What he's going to do is he's going to try to hook that leg with his – hook uh, Johnny's right leg with his left leg, pull it out and get that single leg. Johnny is one heck of an athlete, though. He's able to balance on that, that foot. Oh, oh, there's that right. Oh, right boy. into side control, trying to pass over the mount. Now, again, just because somebody's on top, though, doesn't necessarily mean they're in control. Right now he is definitely in control. He has Johnny mounted right here, trying to roll to the back. Johnny got that front headlock, though. That's a tough position to sit in. It's just uncomfortable. And there you see, again, the mistake of looking right at his coach as he's talking to him. Yeah, or right trainer, here. I should say. Yeah, right here, Johnny needs to dig his forehead under Julian's foot, chin. Drive it up. Now he can't do that now that Julian has switched it on him. Going to suck those legs out, go over that right again. That's three takedowns. Johnny is rolling on top using that athletic ability. Johnny is an athlete, Andrew. I will tell you that. He seems a little spry, you he, know. He's I think I think youth is just uh, on his side. It absolutely is. Right, right here, Johnny's going to try to be heavy, avoid that takedown again. This is a lot more cage work than we've seen in most fights. We got 10 seconds to go in this first round. Yeah, I'd like to see Johnny threaten with that guillotine real quick. Tough one to call. He's trying to. Obviously, pull on it a little bit, but to no avail, and that's going to be the end of the first round. Could be a tough one to call. Oh, I give that to Julian all day long. And he's trying some intimidation, too. As you can see, he's trying to walk over and uh, getting Johnny McLaughlin's face a little bit there, but the official certainly not having it. Uh, by the way, we want to remind you all, Apex number two is partly sponsored by U.S. Auto Mobile Detailing. Also, partly sponsored by Most Wanted Vodka, oh, yeah. the Sing original. Sing time. Let's go, people. Straight Edge Barbershop, HKA USA, Mr. P's Bar and Grill, Sushio Gains, and Major Pack. Uh, 
All right, you're McLaughlin's corner. What are you telling him? He has got to get off that fence. The problem is Julian, Sans uh, Julian Sansano keeps putting him on that cage, getting those takedowns. They're not doing any damage, but they're scoring points. Each takedown is a dominant position. Yep. Johnny needs to start throwing a couple body kicks, leg kicks, throwing him down. Do you feel that maybe Sansano may be a little overzealous in terms of some of his uh, wanting to intimidate McLaughlin a little bit? Uh, we saw it again where he had to be pulled by his corner on his way trying to get over there before the ref even gave the clear for these guys to go. Yeah, I don't like that stuff. That's just not for me. It's, he's, not, he's not intimidating anybody. Well, again, especially a guy with, you know, the experience of uh, McLaughlin. Sure, it's only three fights, but it's three more fights than what you've got. Yeah. And he, ju he just fought recently, so he's, he's not scared to get in there and scrap. Well, clearly in... What do you think of his base stance here from McLaughlin? How I like does that it. Look to you? So he's he's doing a good job because whenever whenever Sansano goes to throw, he's able to move right away. Athletic ability. He's got a nice wide stance. Scoots back, takes a little leg kick. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, he misses to the inside there, but big shots there by it Johnny is right there, and that one backed him up a little bit. But see again, no, that's what we talked about earlier when I brought up the killer instinct. You had him. Why do you think he backed off there? I don't think anything landed super clean, so he backed off for a second. Well, nope. a wild swing and a miss there. And right now it's still pretty even. I think maybe in the eyes of a lot of the fans, even though right now you're scoring at a high for one Julian Sanzano. And Ooh, side right there, able to connect on the thigh. And he's going forward again. Yeah, I don't nice think that connected, kick. though, man. I, you know, they always say it's the ones you hear that don't hurt. The ones you don't hurt, those are the ones that really hurt. Is, is there a validity to that, Adam? There, you know? there, there can be. There can be. But nothing is really landing clean. So as long as it looks a certain way in the, in the judge's eyes, but right there you see through that leg kick, and Johnny dropped his right hand. I would fake that leg kick and go high. Yeah, and well, yeah, maybe a little bit of that happening right there. Yeah. We've seen a common theme throughout the night of going to the thighs and really wearing people down in that regard. Is it also going to not only affect their stand-up game, but their ground game when their thighs aren't up to snuff after taking a pretty hard beating? Not typically, not typically, unless you're at that pro level, they start digging elbows in those thighs when you're on the ground, things like that. Yep. And there we go again, seeing somebody turn his back. But at this moment, the pace looks high, but it's also very settled at oh. the same time. But there it is right there. Nice little inside, but a lot of feeling each other out still going on to me. Yeah. You know, this round comes to an end. I'd probably have to give the round to Julian Santano again. Really? Barely. Reason being, he just had a little bit more cage control, oh, yeah, a little Dave. bit more. I uh, see you lighting it up. I don't want to say aggression, but was kind of coming forward. Although, what is that? Uh, one. What I like about two, Johnny McLaughlin one, two, three. is he's a counter fighter. He's letting you miss so he can jump in and get you. And I and I, I like that. And I, I like his style. I think it works for him. I would like to see him jump on 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 Santano and actually attempt. For, you know, try to finish it. Something else that we're seeing here, while Julian's in the corner. There's a lot of conversation on his end, something you don't, to me, often see a lot of times with fighters. And maybe even a little bit of actual, like maybe not necessarily arguing, but there's definitely a lot more going on with the fighter there. And again, we see the same move by Julian. Uh, what's your first thought? I, you, you don't know, I couldn't hear him, so he could just be explaining, hey, my foot hurts and my hand hurts, I don't know. Yep. We got you us. just don't know. We're getting ready to start this third and final round. Uh, right now, our former UFC guy, Adam Sella, has this two rounds to none in favor of one Julian Sansonato, or pardon me, Julian Sansonato. Boy, I'm going to get it right one of these days. It's okay. We all, know, we all know who you're talking about. Men alive. Oh, oh big head kick oh, landed right there. There it is. Almost a nod of approval there from uh, McLaughlin. Well, I think it landed with, the, with like, the tip of his foot there, so it wasn't too solid. 
Julian in on a beautiful there takedown right there. And now he's got him on the ground trying to put in that work. But McLaughlin has got him wrapped up pretty good. Yeah, he's got him wrapped up, but I like here that, that Julian went to side control. This is where it's going to be real hard to hold Johnny on the ground. He's such an athlete. Now he's, he jumps over to Mount kind of in a half guard here. It's kind of a weird position. He's not giving up his back, but he is taking some shots to the head right now. But you can see he's really trying to work his way out of this, but now the placement of that foot, trying to get it in the middle is what Julian is trying to do there. Yeah, he's trying to do a leg lace because what that's going to do is help uh, take away some of the, the, the scrambling issue that, that Johnny has. His head looks like it's out, or it's close to being out. Boy, no, he needs to clear that hand. Little side dash. Shoots right in back on a, on a reshot on that double leg right there. Great control, great position with a minute and a half left. Round number three, the final round. Uh, do you think that McLaughlin has to come with a knockout or, or stoppage of some sort in order to win this fight? Yeah, he's definitely got to win. The, he's, he's definitely got to go for a finish. Um, but just the, the way that Sensano is fighting, I don't think he's going to get a chance to do that. we got just over a minute left. And this control right here, now he's got that leg lace right here. That If he swims his right leg under, he's in a lot of trouble. Well, and again... Thanks to Habib, the ground game, we're not hearing a lot of boos like what we would normally hear really kind of before that time, even though it was something that was always a part of the fight game. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think our fans are more educated now with MMA being as popular as it is in terms of what it's really all about, you think, Adam? Yeah, I think they're just becoming more educated fans. Uh, you know, here in Kansas City, there's a lot of, a lot of MMA knowledge going around so there's a lot of people who are involved and know what's going on yep. yeah, right now he's kind of backed up in there but I, I think for me personally Adam this is going to be a tough one to call I really I don't do. think it's going to be a tough one to call especially with this third round the way Sansano is controlled with the wrestling the takedown to the dominant position right here he gets one more takedown this is for sure it's 10 seconds left I I am very certain that this is Sansano's round well, he's able to get inside a little bit there with some of that knee, but McLaughlin not doing a whole lot to necessarily stop it. All three rounds in this one. And we're going to wait for an official judge's decision. I think we're going three to zip 30, in favor of the red corner. Yeah, 30, I think 29, it is. 30-29, 30-29. 30-27. That, that 30-27, 30, 30. So... You're not taking a point off of each round. It'd be 10-9, 10-9, 10-9, 30-27. Your math is wrong. Well, <laughs> that was always my worst subject in school That's okay. Anyway. You just got to sit there and look pretty. Yeah, I can't even <laughs> do that. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> oh, thanks, honey. You're so sweet. Well, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, I think uh, I think this was a clear round three round or a clear fight three to zero. And I, well, you know, what I'd like to see, I'd like to see Johnny kind of maybe get into a different gym, work on his aggression, work on his cage control, work on his wrestling. He had pretty good takedown defense. I think he's an athletic guy. So bouncy. All right, ladies and you gentlemen, know? our judges have reached a decision. With a score of 30, 27, 30, 27, and wow. 30, 27. Winner by unanimous decision, our red corner, Julian Sansano. 30-27, pretty, pretty, pretty easy to see it right down the line. If you're McLaughlin, though, 